I think that's been filled up, Leobot. I think we're doing okay. What do you think? Look at that. Yeah. Nice now it's a, the water in there is actually compressed. It's under pressure, so it actually looks like it's like a little bit. But what's in there will easily fill the entirety of the tank that we're going to make. So it's all right. it's all pretty straightforward. Now the, what I was thinking is of sealing the iron uh, floor off with like a bulk liner across here. Okay. And then from there, what we could do, if I if I tell you what, in fact, I'll give you a stack of these glass panes. Oh, and nice. I was thinking of just having glass panes there. But what okay. we need is some kind of staircase up to allow us to actually get to uh, to get to the animals and like put them in and like get in the pool and, and like collect them in pokeballs and all that kind of stuff. So. Right. Uh, do you want? Do you you have loads of stone stairs still left over, don't you? So. I... I've got lots of iron stairs, yeah. Can you remember how to do it? I think so, yeah. Uh, ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, you carry on. Okay, looks like you're doing a good job. I'm actually now stuck inside here because I didn't oh. think that through. Um, right, well, I'll tell you what. Let us, if we focus on the staircase first, I'm thinking if we have, if we start it up the very top so we know the height we want it to be. Do I have any of this left? Yeah, I do. Right, okay. So if I go with like there that's how high we want the the actual thing to be right okay so that, makes, so that makes sense so the glass will go up to that point uh and then the other thing that we need to do is find a There's way of stairs, getting okay. yeah find a way of getting down again uh okay here we go cool so if we like had it coming starting from there coming down like that yep. having some opposite on there, having some more coming down, having an opposite on there, having some more coming down, having an opposite on there, having some more coming down. Oh no, hang on, actually, I think instead of having those coming down again, if at that point we then have, let's see, yeah, if we then have like to like a platform and then have some more coming down and have some more coming down like that. Because then that you can walk up the whole thing then, and then the actual, I guess the the, the this will be like the gangway would be like this, and then you could Ooh. just follow this along like this. Stylish it is. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I wonder if I'm actually going to run out of uh, blocks. Do you have any more of the actual iron blocks on you? Yeah, I'll give you. I'll throw you some there. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, there we go. And now, in terms of, uh, there we go, there we go, perfect, thank you very much. Uh, in terms of the actual thing itself, let's see, all we need to do actually now is just put, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put gangways every so often, um, like this, and then I think what I'll do is I'll have the water actually filled up like to this level so that when you uh, so you can actually if you jump in the water you can actually get out really easily because I know that's okay. probably the, the safest way of doing it I reckon so let's let's aim to go with that and uh, okay here we go click 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 <clears throat> excuse me and then one more kind of like gangway on this side okay so that's now the 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 lights follow the gangways so I think that looks pretty cool actually how's the glass coming along <clears throat> oh, uh, the glass has all been done now, yeah. I'm just nice. fixing these little uh, stairs. Thanks for really cool, the glass weirdly. Oh, if you yeah, if you put some stairs upside down there, like you've done there, yeah, that's that was really good. Um, how are you going to get that? up? The wrench oh, no. is starting. There we go. Look, if you put one like this, and then do we need to have anything? Like, I guess have some there, like that. That's probably good enough, isn't it? That's probably fine. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm stuck though. Here we go. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> uh, do I have any more? Do you have any more like regular stone? If not, don't worry. I can get some from the chest. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna use cobblestone temporarily because otherwise I don't want I don't want people to like fall in the hole and stuff. So that's, yep. I think that's pretty cool. I'm I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, it sort of goes up a little bit and then uh, sort of stops there for a second. It's yeah. a bit weird how that's kind of like connecting up a bit strangely, but no, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. It's like it's oh. all a bit odd, isn't it? The way it's the because the oh, you haven't got one there. No, yeah. If you pop one there, 
You keep on giving yourself cobblestone, Levi. You need to stop doing that. I, I do? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> you're like, cobblestone, thank you very much. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh, dear, I, dear. I think it's because you're clicking on the NEI thing. And I'll tell you what, here you go. I can, I, can take, I can tell you how to stop doing that. Um, if you go into options, if you go into like, if you go to your your, uh, your NEI, your mobile phone thing, with all the, all the items in it, and you click yeah. options on the bottom left-hand corner, and then you go into inventory, you can select uh, recipe mode or cheat mode. So if you go into recipe uh. mode, and now if you if you accidentally click on things, well, all it will come up with is the actual recipe for making that rather than the, the blocks themselves. Awesome. Yeah, nice and straightforward. Works. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So we don't want any cheating on this server if we, if we can avoid it. No, um, all my cobblestone. I'm I so sorry. The only thing that we actually usually put in the game is the name tax because you can't actually make those apart from getting them in dungeons, which is just stupid mm -hmm. because you need to name all the all the animals for them to survive. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. Now, <clears throat> I could sit here with this water bucket and go, Bob, and then sort of start filling it up like that, but that would take an awfully long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the chest. Um, oh, and by the way, people were getting a little bit confused about these uh, enclosures that we've got here. This is not where the dinosaurs are going to live. Um, that would be very, very cruel, and they are far too small. Uh, these are what are known as hatcheries, uh, where you just basically, you need a place to hatch the egg. So you hatch the egg inside these, these rooms, uh, and then you kind of you kind of go from there. Now, if anybody thinks that any of the the eggs will hatch uh, a dinosaur that's too big for these hatcheries, then please do let me know, uh, and we will double them up and make them into three big ones, and then one small one for smaller animals. So, uh, so yeah, let us know. Let us know about that. Hey, Bailey, are you? Do you need food? I think you need a bit of food. Oh, I haven't got any pork chops left. Do you have any pork chops on you, Libot? Yep. Can you yeah. feed my doggy? Thank you. Uh, yeah, but but uh, that these are all just sort of like a temporary place for us to put them before we put them into safari nets and then take them off in, on their merry adventure into wherever it is that we're that we're going. Now we have heard your heard your cries, um, and it looks like the one that's winning the race at the moment um, is the Dino Dino Sephorus. Uh, what is it, Lubot? Dino Di Dinonychus. 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 Something like that. So yeah. apparently, the the the, the Dinonychus or the Dinonychus is is the one that's in the lead at the moment. We've got two of the of the DNAs here, so I'll start to add those right now. Uh, I also need to pick up some more of that fluid pipe if we've got any left. Where did I put it all? I put it somewhere. Oh, this is the I've got some on me. Oh, is it? Yeah. You've got it, have you? That's that's why I can't yeah. find it. Okay. Well, I'll give you. Let me give you these glass these pieces of glass, and then you give me the... There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, we need a piece of wooden tra uh, fluid transport pipe as well. Do you have one of those at all? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I do. I've got nine. Good job. I need just one of those. Okay. There we go. That's it. Yep. Drop it, my good man. Thank you. Thank you. Drop oh, it dear, like dear. it's hot. So, uh, so but yeah, I think it'll be very interesting to find out what that what that looks like. What we can do um, is we can. I'm just going to put some on. Uh, let's quickly have a look. Uh, oh, oh, uh, actually, Lubot, the uh, I'll put these in. Um, mm. But the uh, the terror bird for Seri has cultivated. Really? Yeah, and it's called uh, it's, it's this here, this red one. I'll put it in the in the egg chest. It is called a. Uh, Kellenken, Kellenken egg. Kellenken, oh nice. Kellenken egg. So I have no idea what that is. Uh, for anybody who is wondering the situation or uh, about the the eggs and bits and pieces, me and Sari have a bit of a, an agreement going. Uh, all the dinosaur research is happening here, uh, and all the bird research is happening over with her. Uh, so if anybody is interested in seeing the life of this terror bird. Um, then you can visit Seri's channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Seri Sims. Uh, and anybody over at Seri's channel who is looking looking for dinosaurs and stuff can uh, can come and visit us. And I think we're actually going to be visiting Seri in a few days' time, Lubot. Um, she's she's currently actually on vacation, uh, which is very, very nice for, for some people, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. Yep. Anyway, let's uh, get some of this milk on the go. Uh, if I just use that one straight away and then get another one so it's got a backup ready to go go put all the empty buckets back in that in that chest as well so we can like one of us can go and milk the cows at some point i tell you <laughs> that is something that we could do with the blue room we could we could actually put like all the animals we need for like milk and stuff in there that could work that's out a good idea nicely. the other thing yeah. we need to do is start working on uh, sorting out feeders 
um, which which we need to do at some point. But when we actually hatch the eggs here, we're not going to put the feeders inside these boxes. Well, I suppose we, we could put a feeder in. Uh, maybe that is something that we will do. Oh, actually, no, yeah, that's that's a really good idea, actually. I'll tell you what we'll do. This is a really good loop. So so the way that the dinosaurs work is that they will they will only feed from these feeder machines. Right. Um, I think some of them will actually kill like sheep and cows and stuff, but they but they can use the feeder machines to stay alive, right? Yeah. So what we could do is we could put a feeder machine in the center of every single one of these things, underneath where the torch is, right? And okay. then we could have a, a chest of meats in the storeroom that's like the the sort of in the in chest into this room. And we could have that feed meats and foods into all of the feeders underneath the ground on each of these. So it's like an automatic feeding process. Oh, that would be pretty cool. That sounds awesome, doesn't it? So that, I think we yeah. should, we'll have to probably take care of, of doing that. Um, there's a round robin pipe system that we can use. Um, I think it's just called round robin pipe, I think. Uh, round, yeah, round robin transport pipe. And what that does is it basically gives... Uh, like when it gets to like a junction, like a three-way junction, it gives one piece to each of the junctions. Okay. So like if you put ten, ten well, so say for example nine, you put nine stakes in, it will send three down each of the three pipes that are connecting to that one pipe. So it's, it's a very good way of kind of like making sure things are being fed fairly. And then if we had like, say for example, we did have three larger uh, hatcheries like, we're, like I think we might be doing, then we could have just three feeders in, the, in those ones then we can have a separate like one just here that we can uh, we can look after manually which i think would make a whole lot of sense anyway let's carry on with the cultivators see what else we've got oh uh what, what the hell we've got Leave this is oh. not an egg um what what, what? this is is this that is not, moving calf? this I is think? not yeah um oh dear okay uh right i think that that that's that's a living Nautilus, I, I feel bad about putting that away. Okay, well, oh, what we're yeah. going to do, Lou, but I think it looks like we need to get the tank done because if we've yep. got actual living Nautilus with us right now, we better get on that. It looks like the, the first thing we're actually going to be doing is, is sorting out the living Nautilus. Uh, so let's get on, on that up up the stairs here. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this pipe up. Uh, I'm just going to put this sort of across like this, uh, just temporarily. It can be just like along here. Oh, just gonna get you out of the way. There we go, and then just sort of like down to there, and then we can just start filling that in. So once this is, oh, in fact, I tell you what, do we have a redstone engine anywhere? Let's see if we can find uh, one. I'm sure we've gone somewhere. Let's uh, let's go and quickly get one, because I think that's going to be the best the best solution to the problem. Uh, if we get that filling, and then when we rejoin you guys next time, we can take care of that yeah we've got actually got loads of them they're actually really cheap to make so that's that's pretty good Brilliant. Uh, and i need a lever yeah i've got some levers as well i'll put that cobblestone back perfect there we go you're doing a bit of a balancing out there Lubot. just a little bit i think uh, i think we might, i might have to change these so that there is a bit of a larger gap between them mm. so if we had like thinner but like longer ones i think that might be might make more sense so yeah Hmm, maybe we'll have to change that at some point. For, for, it's fine for now. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put a lever here. There we go. Right, so I'm going to start pumping some of the water out of this tank that's here being fed from the outside world. <clears throat> now, the interesting thing is because this, this biome just here is different to this biome here. Although it looks blue, the water will actually come out green because it's it's stored as a standard blue biome water. But we're in a green water biome, so so the tank will be green. But I think that's going to look quite cool. Yep. Hopefully. Anyway, we'll see you guys once that has finished filling up. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the Gaffcast We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos